Hello, Steve White, Steve Arts 89. Well, it's getting a bit desperate in the Madonna camp at the moment because um, Madonna was outed for her plastic surgery um, on live TV. She appeared and seemed to be in denial about what she looked like. And then when photos came out, she tried to claim that it was a long lens and people were just bullying her and claiming ageism and misogyny, which, yes, there are things that she gets you know attacked with all the time. But in this case, that's not the case. This is regular people looking at her face going, something's wrong, you don't look like you anymore, and commenting on that, and she's basically saying that's attacking her and victimising her, and misogyny and ageism, and it's, it's, it's not. Like I said, there's some haters who are going to do that no matter what, but this is actually a real issue. And um, she got called out on The View. The View, um, you know, took this up as a hot topic, and they all pretty much agreed that Madonna has had plastic surgery done, she doesn't look like herself, people are commenting on that. It's not ageism, it's actually the opposite. She's actually a victim herself of ageism. She is. She won't allow herself to age because she has a problem with ageing and she's actually part of the problem now. She is the problem because she's the one who is disfiguring herself to try and look like something other than what she is. And it betrays her brand of being a rebel and fearless because she's afraid of aging, she's afraid of looking old and people judging for that and now they're just judging her for looking like a plastic surgery, botched plastic, plastic surgery. So she didn't achieve anything. And um, I love that Joy actually called out and actually read through the section about the long lens. She said, it's not the lens, it's your face. And I'm like, it's not your lens, Madonna, it's the face. And yes, there are gullible people and stands who will say, oh, you know, all these SJW types who just want to cause and don't actually care about the truth or reality, these are extremists, left -wit, left extremists, and there are right extremists or left extremists, and then there are sane people in between. I'm not saying everyone who's on the left is one of these SJW people, but they are. They're like the counter to the, um, the toxic sort of masculine guys and all that. Like, they exist everywhere, and every, every, every sort of subject or issue, we seem to have these two sort of types of people coming up and um, taking opposite sides and just for the sake of tribalism. So there are people who will defend her and say, she looks amazing, like, like they think she's listening. And these people are really deluded. I even have them in my comments talking to me like I'm Madonna, saying, I love you, Madonna, I love you, and I'm like, these people are deluded. It's like they think they're talking to Madonna if they, if they respond to a video about her or an article about her. I'm like, and they seem to think like she's going to reward them, like she's going to like realize they're because it's all about themselves and needing to be valued. It's like, oh, Madonna will realize I'm their greatest fan because I'm defending her against everyone no matter what. And no, she doesn't know, she doesn't care, she's not listening, and you're not going to get rewarded. Um, she couldn't care less. She actually has no respect for you. People who just sit at her, at her feet, groveling, um, she doesn't respect any of you fans who do that. She really doesn't. She respects people who will stand up to her. She won't tolerate them. She won't accept them. She will you know, lie, but um, in my opinion, from all the experience I've had around her and with people around her and over the years, watching her career and her interactions, she will lie, but she knows she's lying, but she knows she's trying to cover and that, so she'll do that. But um, she doesn't respect the people that are at her feet groveling and saying she's beautiful and perfect when she knows she's not, because she knows, you know, you guys will just, you'll, you'll do that for anyone, you know, you'll do that for the next person, you know. You'll turn on it in a second because you don't actually care about truth. You have no integrity. You're just doing something because you want the validation or you want the credit or you want, you know, it's, it's, there's something really wrong with stands and cults. And Madonna has a real cult around her. The fans are very cultish and I've experienced this. I've been attacked and I've gotten threats and death threats from people because I've criticized Madonna. And I'm a fan. I love her. But I'm not going to say you don't look like this when you're in front of me looking like that. Now, when I saw her live, she looked amazing, but she's had all this work done now, and she looks different, and people are entitled to say that. It's criticism. You put your face out there, like, I'm on YouTube, okay, not many people watch me, you know, I have a small channel, but people say I'm ugly. They criticize all these things about me, and that's part of it. I don't say, you can't do that, because you can. I disagree with you. I, I, well, yeah, yeah, I'm ugly, it's okay. Um, but, you know telling me that doesn't win your argument, insulting me, discrediting me in your mind because apparently I'm not hot so that means my opinion doesn't mean anything. None of these things work when you're trying to win an argument. It's just insane. But um, yeah, so I was just 
proud that the view called Madonna out. They could have gone SJW and taken her side and be like, yes, it's ageism. These people are just hate her because she's old and she hasn't died yet and she's still working. And that's what Madonna says. And I read out a statement. She did another smaller statement about people are people are intimidated by my power. And yes, yeah, some people are. Some people are. And the others are just looking at you going, oh, God, what did she do? What has she done to her face? She's had the buccal fat taken. She's had... Uh, multiple lifts, she had her lobes are down low because they have to pull the skin up high to get the and now her lobes are sticking out funny and just she's a mess, she looks like Pete Burns on a, on a good day and I, I don't like saying that but that's the truth, I'm not going to sit here and say she's amazing, goddess, queen, no, freak oh, I hate saying that about her, I really hate saying that she's, she's a botched plastic surgery case <laughs> I really... T- it really doesn't sit well. I, that's the first time I've said that out loud. Madonna is now a botched plastic surgery case. Um, it's really sad. Because if she was the strong woman we thought she was, she would never have succumbed to this and gone under the knife. She would have been proud of who she was as a woman, proud of her face. You know, I'm, I'm okay with small little tweaks, little things, but when you go to these extremes, you've lost who you are. And there's no strength in that. Like Madonna said around the time of Ray of Light, if you fear something, you've already lost it. She feared, you know, she feared, she acted out under fear and went under the knife and, and you know, she lost whatever standing she had with, with, with that. She could have aged gracefully. She would have got a few tweaks, but still basically aged. Because you can do a few little things, you know. You can get a little eye lift here and there just so, you know, you don't have too much sort of sagging skin. You can get a little lift, stuff like that. That's fine. But you can't change the way you look, you're still going to look like you and look like you're aging, you're just going to, you know, it's just not going to be as pronounced, you know, as, as, as bad. That's, that's all you can really hope for with plastic surgery. Because the alternative is they distort you and you start to look like a different race. And there's a whole race of people that originated in California mostly that look like cat people, that look like, like the, 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 the Stephen King's sleepwalkers cat people or, um, you know, that, that's basically what they are. And, you know, they're breeding and they're growing and there's more of them. And it's kind of a bit scary. I just, I never thought Madonna would, would fall prey to this. I never thought she would be weak and afraid and get this done. Um, now, if she has body dysmorphic disorder and that looks normal to her, then she needs help. And one of the things I was sort of realizing when I was looking at this was, because I'm like, you know what, Bef- uh, bleaching the eyebrows has made it worse because the problem is this part of her face is so exaggerated and big and stretched out and the only thing that was balancing it was the really strong brows and the strong eye makeup it was sort of balancing out that area and once she bleached the eyebrows um, it just made that whole area look twice as big and it was already enlarged because her scalp's been pulled up and pulled back and it's longer and flat and it's not sitting where it normally would and the sides have been pulled back and the hairline's been lifted up and back because of how they cut. I'm, I'm, I've, I've watched videos on plastic surgery because I would like to get some work done as I get older myself. Um, I've got um, lines here and as I get older this is going to fall and my cheekbone will sit over this and I'll have a hollow in here. I really hate that so I'm going to get an implant to cover that. So that's, I was looking into how they do and what they can do. Because I don't have a problem with tweaks. But I'm still going to look like me when I get that done. I'm just going to look like me before this fell. And that's okay. But if I got giant implants and had my whole face stretched back and look like a cat person, that would be a problem. Unless I wanted to look like a cat. That is my prerogative. But Madonna's not saying, I want to look like this. This is how I want to look. I'm proud of how I look. You know, I can do what I want. Shut up. She's saying, I don't look, I look great. This is me, my filtered photos. This is what I look like. Believe the lie. Believe the illusion. You know, believe what I put out, what I want you to see. And attack people. First, speaking the truth and saying I've had, I've had botched plastic surgery because if that's not how she wanted to look, if she just wanted to look like herself but younger, it's failed. If she wanted to look like the cat lady, I've forgotten her name, Jocelyn, someone, then she's on her way. If she wanted to look like Pete Burns, she's on her way, and she's that's her prerogative. If she wants to look like Pete Burns, if she thinks that is the ideal of beauty, she she can do that. But if that's not what she wants, and she's saying that that's not what she's just lying. And it's just so frustrating when she's lying and fans are like just backing her up and validating her like 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 they're on a cheerleader team like and think they're going to get 
rewarded and get cookies for it or something. No, she doesn't care. She thinks, she thinks, she, she does. oh my, this is, it's annoying. So I'm just glad the ladies of The View called her out. They said, this is not ageism. This is not sexism. You've gotten too much work done and people are observing it and they're allowed to comment on it. As long as they do it respectfully, and that's what people are doing. People are just reacting naturally to the fact that you look like a different person who looks like they came from an alien planet of cat people. So I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, I still love Madonna. I just, I'm sad for her because she has stumbled and she's fallen into this trap of plastic surgery and she's possibly developed body dysmorphic disorder, disorder and she actually thinks she, she's seeing something from reality and that's, that's, that's a problem. That's mental illness, that's stepping into, um, you know, being un unwell. So she needs help. I love her, she needs help.